first cricket club was uh, Country Victoria. It was called the Trove Cricket Club here down in uh, Gippsland in Moorwa. I think obviously a lot of coaches along the way that have, that have helped out a lot, but I think um, one that played a big part was obviously David Saker being a fast bowler. He played at Victoria and then coached me a lot throughout those early years. Um, he played a big part in just, yeah, just shaping the way I bowled and how I went about it and stuff like that. So I learned a lot from him and obviously he came over here to, to England to be the bowling coach and obviously Billy McDermott since, um, since he, he took charge of the bowling coach back home. I think the biggest thing is, yeah, obviously work hard and enjoy it. I think, yeah, it's, I know it's a little bit of a cliche and you get older and the young kids always ask and like, oh, I can't be that easy, but at the end of the day it is. Like, I still enjoy it, I still work hard and I still love playing the game. And I think, uh, I talk to the, the, the older blokes that are retired and that, that are around this week and um, they always say the same thing and that's what, it, that's what it's all about. It is a game to enjoy and it's because we love playing it. I can't go past being a Victorian, uh, I'm a bit biased, but um, yeah, obviously the, the MCG, just um, that as a, as a whole, I think, yeah, obviously the Ashes crowd last year, um, record crowd, the play out, out in the middle there on, on Boxing Day is, it's, yeah, even though I live, I live 15 minutes away from there, I have to say that's probably the, the greatest place to play cricket. I love spending time because we travel a lot. I love spending time with family and friends. I've got a couple of little dogs at home that I love uh, taking them to the park and just the, just the little things that we don't get to do when we travel. We spend a lot of time in hotels, buses, aeroplanes, airports, that type of thing. So I like spending time at home and, and uh, friends and family, having them around in my place or yeah, just going to the park and just the little things like that that um, we can't, can't do a lot of when we travel. Yeah, I think, I think growing up, obviously being a fast bowler, so, um, Glenn McGrail is a pretty obvious one. Um, Alan Donald from South Africa was always a bit of a hero. Just watching him, how fluent, how good he looked running into the crease and bowling fast. But um, from a sort of from a batsman sort of side of things, I always loved watching Brian Lara play. Um, just the way he went about it, he was exciting. He had flair. He's just he was cool. And um, yeah, so lucky enough, I get to play against him um, in the opposition here the, in this match. So really looking forward to bowling to him. I think obviously getting the baggy green. I think that's yeah, that's been the greatest achievement um, to date. Obviously, yeah, I had the opportunity. I played 53 tests, taking a lot of wickets, and um, so the, but getting that baggy green was the big one. Um, and that, obviously, the Ashes had a trick along the way. Yeah, I think I, I can't remember where I heard it or I've seen it, but um, it's, it's always no dreams too big. And I think as a young kid, you always have lots of dreams and you have, you have plenty of people that when you tell them that dream at school or you tell your parents or your aunties or cousins or friends, they always joke and like, ah, oh, they giggle at it and stuff like that and it might put you down but it's, it's the end of the day, um, I can remember dreaming, yeah, playing, playing test cricket, playing a Boxing Day test, those type of things and then to, to finally um, live that dream and to get that opportunity and to think that I have fulfilled that dream knowing that it was so big when I was a little kid but um, no. Um, it would have to be us. I, I, know, I know a bit about it, so I've heard, I heard, I heard a lot of background. So yeah, we've got um, Australia's definitely got some of the some of the best destinations for wine. I think yeah, obviously Perth, South Australia, Victoria. We're um, we're, we're, like, we're cluttered with it really. It's, it's, it's a great thing for uh, Australia as a country. Nice.